got me in the spirit of with my entourage and shit Face all on my stomach, I have energy on my feet Makeup on my acne, it's like I'm trying to hide this in Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I wanted to bring you guys a clip-in video again. This time around, I wanted to show you how I actually maintain the clip-in, so how I wash them, condition them, and then I'm going to also show you how I flat iron the clip-ins. You can also wear these clip-ins from Nappy Hair Extensions in their natural state, but I chose to flat iron them because my hair is just a finer texture. I feel like my hair has actually grown a lot since the last time I flat ironed my hair, which was not that long ago. It was like a month, two months ago. I have been doing some things to grow my hair, so I will make a video about that soon. I love these clip-ins. They're such a perfect match with my actual natural hair. So, what? <laughs> who if you guys are interested in these clip-ins please check the link in the description box so you guys can check out nappy hair black owned company okay with natural hair extensions so yeah let's hop into the video so to prep the clip-ins for washing i'm sorting them based on the width of them or how many clips they have and then i just secured them with these little i don't know if they're banana clips that i got from sally beauty supply and I'm going to wash the hair. So I already used these clip-ins in my last nappy hair collab video. So I'm going to wash the hair because I styled them and there was product on there. I'm just using a regular shampoo to really make sure I cleanse these clip-ins. And as you can see, they do revert back to a natural texture. After washing, of course, I'm gonna go in with some conditioner, which I'm just using my Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle in the smallest amount because this is like my favorite conditioner, one of my favorites. And then I'm going to detangle the clip-ins and really just spread the conditioner throughout it. Now I'm using some heat protective straightening cream. This is going to protect the hair from the heat, but then it also gets the clip-ins as sleek as they will get. I don't know what's in this stuff, but it's magic. And here I'm just showing you guys how I blow dry the clip-ins, but my blow dryer like nozzle attachment was broken. So I'm using some janky DIY <laughs> method to blow dry the clip-ins. It ended up working, but my arm felt like, my wrist felt like it was gonna fall off. Blow drying the clip-ins is super important just so you get them as sleek as possible before straightening them. If you're going for that sleek, almost bone straight look, which I was able to achieve by blow drying them before. Now I am going to flat iron these clip-ins. So I used <laughs> like a suspension system with my hanger and a little like elastic band. Yeah, I told you guys it's janky and it's DIY. But this is a way to flat iron the clip-ins where you don't have to have them on your head. And if you don't have like a mannequin head or whatever, this is a way that I was able to figure out. So I'm using the chase method and that'll ensure that I get the sleekest look you know what I mean we want it to be sleek we want it to be bone straight so yeah I'm taking off my stocking cap, this other satin thing that I use for the perimeter of my hair, and just combing my hair down. I flat ironed it the day, two days before filming this video. So it is, it does have some texture, but I wanted to show you guys how much my hair looks like it's grown. It hasn't been that long, but I feel like it's grown and there's some more thickness. And like I said, I will film a video about that. So I'm starting with a three clip and I'm securing that to the back of my head. Now my roots aren't as puffy or just textured as I would have liked them so that the clip-ins can kind of grab onto something, the combs. So if you have fine hair like I do and if your texture is softer and just sleeker, then you may want to keep your roots a little bit puffier. So I've 
clipped all of the clippings in aside from one five clip I believe or one three clip and look y'all I look like a mermaid okay okay <laughs> hope this video was helpful, informative, entertaining, or something. I hope you learned how to actually straighten your clip-ins because they're not like on a head. They're not on a mannequin head or anything. So hopefully my little uh, DIY tips and tricks helped you guys out. Check the link in the description box to get these clip-ins if you're interested. I feel like 18 inches is the perfect length for me. It's like not too, too much. Go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what you think about the hair. I personally really like it. And it's the perfect time, it's the holidays. You can buy someone a gift, buy yourself a gift, treat yourself. Yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in my next one.